He's one of Spokane's most notorious killers, a man whose crime shook our community and set off a manhunt. Tonight, convicted killer and former deputy Tom DiBartolo is one huge step closer to freedom. It's a story we're breaking all new at 6 tonight. Tom DiBartolo went to prison in 1998 for the murder of his wife, Patty, a murder he tried to cover up and blame on gangbangers. And he's been locked away for decades, but tonight he's as close to freedom as you can get. 4 News Now's Melissa Luck has this exclusive. Anyone who's been in Spokane for some time will remember this crime. It happened right here in Lincoln Park almost exactly 23 years ago. A veteran law enforcement officer shot his wife with her own gun, then shot himself to cover it up. He's been in prison ever since until now. This is Tom DiBartolo now in a new mugshot from the Washington Department of Corrections. They took it because after decades in a prison in Rhode Island, DiBartolo is now here at the Autonom View Work Release Center in Yakima. According to DOC records, DiBartolo was moved here in August, moved from maximum security to a place where offenders can leave for the day for work, go shopping, or go on outings with family and come back just to sleep. I did not kill Patty. DeBartolo's crime shocked Spokane and set off a manhunt that put innocent people in police spotlights. DeBartolo said he and his wife Patty were robbed at Lincoln Park by two black men. Police searched for those would-be attackers, but their search led them back to Tom himself. At the time, he was an 18-year veteran of the Spokane County Sheriff's Office and a member of the Air National Guard. At trial, prosecutors paraded DeBartolo's girlfriends to the stand and told of a life insurance policy he wanted to collect rather than go through a costly divorce. The couple had young children at the time who feared for their life if their father was released. But he's nearing the end of what was a 26-year prison sentence, and he will be a free man very soon. Tom DiBartolo has always maintained his innocence. He's even written letters to 4 News Now reporters saying he didn't do it. This work release program is one step closer to complete freedom. That is set for February. In South Spokane, I'm Melissa Luck, 4 News Now.